so the lead code problem we are going to solve today is called kth largest element inside an array and we can see that this one is a lead code medium problem all also extremely well like problem now in my personal opinion this should have been an easy problem but anyways they have put it as medium so let's be let be it uh, we are given an integer array nums and we are also given an integer k basically we need to return the kth largest element that is currently present inside the array now let's try to understand this with an example suppose this is the input we are given we can see that there are a bunch of different random values present at the random location now let's say for this problem we are given k is equal to 3 which means we will have to find the third largest value that is currently present inside the given array now we can see that the largest element is 7 so that is the first largest element 6 is the second largest element and 4 would be the third largest element so in this case we will have to return 4 as the answer as the third largest element now let's try to find that what are the different approaches we can take to solve this problem first approach comes to our mind is a brute force approach where the idea is quite straightforward we simply iterate over the given input array simply one by one and in order to find the maximum value then once again we iterate over in order to find the second maximum value and we iterate over the third time to find the third maximum value until we reach to the kth maximum element and we return that this value as the answer obviously you can see that we are doing a lot of repeated work with the brute force approach and the time complexity is going to be big of n multiplied by k so that is not a good approach let's try to find the second solution now second solution is quite straightforward that for this given input if we somehow sort this given input then finding the kth element is very easy because then we will know that after sorting this the largest element is going to be for the, the first one and then we will be we will have values stored something like this one where we can easily find that which is the third largest element in just like uh, just like that so uh, sorting will take big o of n log n time and then finding this element will only take big o of uh, k time or just like this would be instantaneous because it's an array okay so overall this is a good approach works fine but the issue is we are explicitly told that we need to solve this problem without sorting so let's try to see that how can we actually solve it without sorting for that we actually have two options first option is that we find the most optimal way to solve this problem that is using a priority queue or a heap that is one way and second option is that whether we use a quick select algorithm so let me know in the comments if you want to see the quick select approach uh, i can also make a video on that in the future but in this time we are simply going to use a heap the idea is we need to find the kth largest element so we are actually going to store a min heap where we are going to store all the values in a min heap fashion which means in a ascending order okay so the very first element inside the min heap is going to be the smallest and then all the other values are going to be larger than that next thing is we are going to have this min heap of size k so we are only going to store k values at one time and third thing is that in this particular min heap we are going to have a condition that let's say if a new value we are trying to add if that value is x if that value is greater than the very first value we currently have present inside the min heap then we are going to kick this value from the min heap out and try to put x inside the min heap so min heap once again is going to maintain its sorting property and it is going to keep all the values inside the min heap or ascending fashion so let's try to see the solution in action so let's initialize our min heap so currently the given k is equal to 3 so the size of the min heap is only going to be 3 very first element is value number 4 the second element is 2 so once again we are going to uh, store the values inside the ascending fashion so 2 and 4 next element is 6 so 6 would be added over here okay next value we are trying to add is value number 1 so once again 1 is a, a smaller value so if one value is smaller than current max minimum heap then we don't need to do anything we can simply skip over why because we know that in this particular fashion the third largest element is actually going to be the very first element inside the heap and that is still going to remain two so we don't need to add value number one uh, and we can simply skip over 
now we are at value number seven so seven is greater than the very first value inside the min heap so we will have to kick this value out and then we will have to put seven in but seven would not be put in the place of two once again we will do the operation of self adjusting the min heap so values are going to be four six and seven once again after adding seven we have value number three so once again three is actually smaller than value number four so we don't need to add three once again we have value number two two is once again smaller than value number four which means we don't need to add two as well so after the end of iterating over the entire array the very first element inside the min heap has to be the kth largest element which we can see over here that this four is the third largest element inside our array and that's it so this is how easy it is to solve this problem using a min heap and we can simply come up to the solution very quickly very easily without any delays so let's try to calculate the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be that we will have to iterate over every single element and for that we will have to insert the values inside the min heap or do some sort of checking so for n times we will have to do log n work so it's still going to be the n log n time uh, it's still same as sorting but the thing is rather than sorting we are using a priority queue to take care of the values inside the priority fashion inside the min heap fashion if we see space complexity in this case space complexity is going to be big O of k where k is the size of the given kth element we are trying to find because we are initializing a new min heap to store the value so it makes absolutely good sense to store this one so we can see that this one is a really good time and space complexity to solve this problem and once again as a general rule of thumb whenever you find any question where you want to find kth smallest element or kth largest element or uh, kth biggest element something like this whenever you see kth try try to see that if you can use a heap to solve this problem and almost 99 percent of the time you should be able to solve this problem okay so now let's quickly see the coding solution for this one So this is the coding solution we can see that this is very simple and short coding solution basically we first of all initialize our priority queue or min heap and then we have a for loop to iterate over the given input nums that is provided to us where we are simply going to add these values uh, inside the min heap one by one then we are going to check the for a condition that if the size of min heap is greater than k then we need to pull the very first element that is present inside the min heap and that's it basically so in the end we should have a min heap that only contains the kth largest element at the very first position that we are going to do a peak operation and return and let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code so our code runs faster than a lot of other solutions and uh, this is a really good approach so i would be posting this solution inside our github repository